Pepperstone has partnered with TradingView. Let's check it out. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. All right, so I wanted to announce that Pepstone, our channel sponsor, are now partnered with TradingView. But what on earth does that mean and how is that any value to you? Well, let me tell you, if you enjoy TradingView, or if you don't, I definitely recommend you try out TradingView. I, mean, I really like it as a, as, a, as a charting platform. I've done videos on it before. Um, now you can execute on TradingView and it connects directly to your Pepstone CFD account. So that now has changed the game a little bit for you scalpers because you scalpers before were kind of trading on CTrader. Maybe you're using TradingView for analysis and opening up CTrader to trade through Pepperstone and enjoy the tight spreads on the Razor account, all that kind of stuff. Now you don't have to do that. Now you can link up Pepperstone with your TradingView and execute directly from TradingView. So you can enjoy all the functionality of the scripts, uh, the multi-monitor kind of setups, all, all the stuff that we know and love about TradingView. Don't go into this kind of stuff, guys. You know, um, if you use TradingView, you know, you know that it's a, it's a good charting platform. And if you don't, then, you know, maybe you can kind of look at it and say, hey, why don't I try it out? Um, it's free, actually. You know, it's a free platform. And you can, there are some add-ons. You can have some premium stuff to have some more functionality. But... Um, the free one's good for, for most traders, and even the premium is not that expensive, to be honest. Anyway, you can set everything up as you like it. So your workflow might be, and, and by the way, you know, I like to, and you might be the same guys, and, and possibly you are, your price action traders, supply demand, all this type of stuff if you're here, you know, that's probably the way you operate. Short-term trader, you know, maybe aggressive. Um, you, you top down analysis, you kind of look at your daily chart, you look at your hourly, maybe 15, your five, and then you execute on a one minute or even a lower time frame. You, you're kind of doing that as a screening process to say, yes, I'm happy to trade, happy to trade, happy to trade. And the last part is a discretionary entry. And so you utilize the power of the intuition and discretion part of the trader, but you use some of the kind of binary screening criteria. Maybe you use some scripts for that as well. You kind of, you know, say, hey, it's the moving average has got to be here, blah, 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 et cetera, all that type of stuff. So you can do this now on TradingView. And you can um, just execute straight through. So maybe I look at my daily chart and I kind of analyze. And I've got USD JPY here and I kind of do my, my technical analysis, my kind of screening process. I'm going to double top here at 116. I draw my chart, draw my analysis. I draw my lines. I draw my support and resistance. I draw my fibs if I'm using fibs, add my tools, whatever I want to do. And then I might go down to my you know, hourly, check my trend, check this. And then I might go to one minute to execute. Okay, so that's fine. But how do we connect it all up? So on the bottom panel here, we've got something called trading panel. If you click that, it's going to open the selection of brokers. You can use Pepperstone here, featured broker, top left, hit connect. So connect now, and there's a kind of confirmation thing, hit continue. Now, you will be shown this login, and it's all within uh, all within trading view, a little pop-up here. So you enter your email address and password here and log in to your demo or your live account. Now, if you haven't got an account set up already, you can do it literally within this window. Hit demo, it pops up a little pop-up box here and email address, first name, last name, password, optional mobile, click register, bang, you're away. And that will then send you automatically your demo account credentials to your email address and then you can go back and you can log in once you've done this and you just hit this and you just hit your credentials here and log in so very very easy to set up and actually guys you know i always recommend trading on a demo first even if you're familiar with trading view familiar with pepperstone you know, just 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 see how the connection works understand how to execute um all, all the other stuff that you just want to make sure and even if you you, you kind of want to trade live anyway. It's always worth just, just just having that demo. It's always worth just maybe executing a new strategy on a demo. You know, demo is quite useful. So let me put in my uh, credentials now and I'll show you what happens afterwards. Okay, we're back. This is what's happening. It's going to show you this confirmation window here. You connect Pepper Center Trading View. Make sure it's a demo. Hit approve access. And you are now connected and so what it will do is it will pull in all the information from your account so it's going to pull your account balance as a demo account i'm going to show you the demo account the account number here show any history of positions orders as you'd expect um so now you can operate from within here and you can and you can suppress this minimize this or open it and it's always going to show you what you connects to anyway pepperstone your little green connected dot so you can just do your standard analysis without being clouded by stuff and seeing your PL, all this kind of stuff you can suppress all that 
and just sit there and observe and watch. And then when you're ready and you want to check and you want to do this, you want to check maybe your position or you want to adjust your position or whatever it may be, you can maximize it there. So let me just show you quickly how to fire an order through. And then in later videos, we'll talk about some strategy, maybe how to use the power of some of the technology with TradingView, link it up to Pepperstone, maybe some scalping stuff, all that other type of, of goodies. So once we're connected, now here we can hit trading settings. And one of the main things that you can do is execute straight from the chart. Hit the buy sell button and you're there. So now you have this uh, kind of nice little, very simple yet effective way to operate as a trader, as a scalper. So I can look and say, right, and, and, and you know, when you're scalping, you might most of the time when you're scalping, because you're a scalper, if you're a short term trader, day trader, you, you kind of have an idea where you want to execute, right? So you look at this and saying, hey, I'm scalping this, this kind of uh, little range here, and I'm waiting for it to kind of come to lows, I'm taking out highs, come to lows, take out highs. So you, you, you tend to be waiting and waiting, waiting, and you want to pull the trigger when you see what's going on. Now, it hooks up uh, to a razor account. So you're going to get those, those super tight spreads anyway, with a slight commission on top. It's the cheapest way to trade through Pepperstone, ideal for scalping. Top left, you've got your buy and sell buttons. Here you've got your order quantity. So, you know, you pump in your order quantity and let's just leave it at one for now for kind of just to show you what's going on. And you say, right, uh, I'm just going to execute. And it's literally a case of hitting the button. Comes through, you get your order confirmation and exactly as you expect. And I've got an audible confirmation set up, so audio confirmation uh, set up as well. And then it's going to show my blotter here. And I've been playing around with it before. So I've got a kind of position running in the same instrument below. And it shows me, it just shows me everything that I need to know about the trade that I'm taking. And, you know, now I can scout back and forth as I want. And I can trade more size, I can trade less size, I can do this, I can amend and all the stuff. We're going to go through some of these more details later uh, in another in another video to kind of a how-to on the best practices and, and things like that and a workflow and, and how to operate uh, in that manner. But that's pretty much it, guys. Easy to do. Down that trading panel, connect to Pepperstone, sign up for the demo. If you don't have one yet, that'll create your demo automatically. Go to your email, grab your credentials, log in, you get that, and you're away. And you can see exactly what's going on, how you're connected, and use it um, in a real advantageous way and so that you, you now got a seamless way to execute. One final thing I want to show you, which I was going to say for another video, but I want to show you this now because I quite like this. You can suppress positions on or off. So this is really good. Notice how it's come up with my position here. And sometimes I don't want to see that. I don't want to see my p because I don't want to trade my p and I want to trade the price. I'm not interested in my p and I'm interested in price. Price relative to my entry is irrelevant. The market doesn't care. The market cares about nothing. It's a supply demand auction based process. So I might not always want to see that. So I can toggle it on and off and I can have it in money. I can have it in pips. I can have it in percent if I really, really want, but it's going to be rounded into nothing for a currency pair, obviously. But pips might be useful for you. You know, if you're trying to increase, improve your position size or increase your position size, you know, maybe you don't want to see pounds. Maybe you don't want to see the fact that, oh, you know, I'm up money, I'm down money, I'm left, I'm right. You know, maybe you just want to see, you know, what, what you're doing in pips. Or maybe you don't want to see it at all. You know, maybe you don't want to see it at all. And there's all sorts of things you can play around with here. But I thought that was something worth mentioning because I like that. I like being able to suppress the position so I can just look at the chart objectively. I don't have to constantly be seeing my P&L because you know what it's like, guys, if you've got a running position, you know, and, you know, let's say you'd execute this position um, back here on, a, on an hourly, right? And before I've been playing around with, with, with some of the settings on this and just uh, having a little mess around. And imagine if you've got this position here. Imagine if you're trading some, some, some more size, you're up seven grand on your trade. You've constantly got that in your face. And maybe the market pulls back a bit like, oh, you know, now I'm only up six, now I'm only up five. Yeah, but what relevance is that? You might want to be sitting through this pullback because you're expecting a breakout. Perhaps on a daily chart, you expect a breakout of this of this long-term high, and that's why you're in the position. And then you get shaken out of the trade because you're constantly looking at the P&L. So it's something to consider, suppressing the P&L and executing you know, on TradingView through, uh, or executing through to Pepperstone, should I say, on TradingView allows you to do that. It's just one of the nice little extra things. Anyway, guys, that is Pepperstone and TradingView. New partnership. Go and check them out. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.